Welcome to Old Gala House. One off, if not the oldest building in Gala Shields. Pretty impressive. Nice gardens too. Yeah, so I've been I've been looking at an old map of Gala Shields for 18, 1852 I think it is. And here's the kind of scene you get of Old Gala House in 1852. Yeah, that's right. It's kind of the only thing in this area. There's nothing else here at all. Now that whole thing about seeing the map and seeing Old Gal House is the only building made me think of another thing that I'd read, which is a, a book article from 1892. I'm just going to read it to you. The town was a rapidly extending. The old landmarks of the once a rural village had passed away. The cherished haunts of the boyhood of the older inhabitants were no longer to be seen. The spirit of change was all over. The once crystal stream was polluted. The finny tribe had disappeared. The brig pool, the rocks and called back were no more their favourite haunts. Darlings and other paws, once green and gown clad, were covered with houses. The face of nature was entirely changed. Does that sound familiar? Isn't this big Tesco Hazda just a bloody disgrace? I liked it much better when it was a derelict mills about here. Absolute joke bringing all you folk out of the town. Should have left it the way it was. This new railway line's just a bloody joke as well. All that multi billion pound investment into the town. <sighs> Should have done it to hike or something. I was in my car the other day, I had to wait two and a half minutes at the traffic lights. Absolute joke. Bloody ruining gala, so it is. Yeah, this whole area here, which is now known as Gala Park, is because it used to be just a park, didn't it? Let's take a look at what this area looked like in 1852. This here is Gala Park in 1852. I've transported myself back in time. Down there, across the Mill Lade, you've got Bank Street and the mills and stuff down there, but up here, which is currently Gala Park, Scott Street, Ballor, there's nothing. Absolutely none. You can just imagine bumping into one of the old guys back then. This is what it would go like. Ah, oh, it's a bloody disgrace building all these new houses and this new school and that, it's just a disgrace. The worst thing that ever happened in town. Absolute joke. How they find the way it is the road, you just leave it. It's I've been like this, so you just leave it. Anyway, let's go back to the future. Even the construction of the old quaint style borough school caused uproar amongst the residents. You can just imagine it. Yeah, so it would seem that even back then in, in 1892 there was a strong sentiment of it's always been let's no change it. Let's keep Gala Shields the way it is, keep it a wee village and I think everybody will agree, you kind of see that sentiment nowadays because Gala Shields at this moment is probably going through as big a change as there has been since since the Industrial Revolution but I think what differentiates Gala from the other sort of small border towns is the voice in Gala Shields for change and enterprise and creativity and forward thinking and progress is louder than the voice for keep it the way it is and keep it small like you get in other border towns like Melrose and Selkirk that have remained small and, 
in just backwaters where this gala has grown and thrived and is still doing so and that's why we are the place we are today and I think yeah, the, the current progress will again, once again put gala shields on the map for, for different different reasons Something very interesting that I spotted on a map in this area Here's the map Yeah, that's right, burial ground So where's the, the burial ground? This is uh, St Ninian's Church, it's known as But I don't know where the burial ground is Okay, they're mooching about around the back of this building at 6 in the morning so it's a bit dodgy Where the hell's the burial ground? in the back on on the map from 1852 there's 100% definitely a burial ground in this area here just where the church is basically but I can definitely say there's nothing there's no burial ground here now so what have they done? they built houses on top of the burial ground Yes, I've, I've done a full circuit around it now and there's, there's definitely no uh, no uh, signs of a burial ground Oh my god Oh my god Am I the only person that's seen Portland Geist? 